continue on this, right. Errol, oh, oh, Errol oh, Lewis. No, go no, ahead no. with your close, question. Close. We're going to continue on this, Errol. Go ahead. Okay, Se Secretary Clinton, as Secretary of State, you also pioneered a program to promote uh, fracking around the world, as you described. Fracking, of course, a way of extracting natural gas. Now, as a candidate for president, you say that by the time you're done with all your rules and regulations, fracking will be restricted in many places around the country. Why have you changed your view on fracking? No, I, well, I, I don't think I've changed my view on what we need to do to go from where we are, where the world is heavily dependent on coal and oil, but principally coal, to where we need to be, which is clean, renewable energy, and one of the bridge fuels is natural gas. And so for both economic and environmental and strategic reasons, it was American policy to try to help countries get out from under the constant use of coal, building coal plants all the time. Also to get out from under, especially if they were in Europe, the pressure from Russia which has been incredibly intense. So we did say natural gas is a bridge. We want to cross that bridge as quickly as possible because in order to deal with climate change, we have got to move as rapidly as we can. That's why I've set big goals. I want to see us deploy a half a billion more solar panels by the end of our, my first term and enough clean energy to provide electricity to every home in America within 10 years. So I have big, bold goals, but I know in order to get from where we are, where the world is still burning way too much coal, where the world is still too intimidated by countries and providers like Russia, we have okay. got to make a very firm but decisive move in the direction Look, of clean you, energy. Right, Senator. Here is 